For me, my personal preference for cleaning northerns are probably a 24 to 28 inch fish. Makes it easier for cleaning the fish to get the Y bones out. Some guys prefer smaller ones for pickling. These are gonna be eaters. Making my cut behind uh, the head here. Another cut. Then I'll open up the belly first here. Then you got the flay all open. Makes it a little easier. Try to make sure this flap's all loose when you go to clean it. Get a nicer looking flay. Now an electric flay knife really makes cleaning a northern a breeze. Okay, right off the bat, I like to take the ribs out. And what I'm doing is just cutting back some of the belly fat, getting the bottom uh, fins off. Makes uh, flaying it or skinning it easier. Now we're gonna take the ribs out. And flaying isn't a big rush job either. I prefer to take my time so you have no bones. I mean, nobody's choking. Once we have the fillet, the way I like to do it, I like to dice my fish up in sections. Tail section be off, no bones in there. There's a nice chunk of meat there. Then depending upon how you want it for sandwiches or your size of your fillet knife, I'll cut it in half again. Sometimes if it's bigger, in thirds. Now if you can see it, these bones, you can kind of lay your fingers down one way and the other way they're spiky. Lay them back so they're smooth. And what you're doing is taking your fillet knife and you're going about an eighth inch on the high side of them. And as soon as you feel bones underneath there, you're rotating your knife. So you're gliding right over the Y bones. You can see them all laying in there. And then your next step is you're coming back down on your lateral line on the inside. And then as soon as you make the cut down about halfway, rotate your knife and then glide it underneath the bones. And you should be able to see your fillet knife under your top section here. So it's coming through. So you're not wasting a lot of meat. I just kind of gently pull it. Now all your bones are out. Mm -hmm. 